are is we're in chapter four, the best advertising money can't buy. And this is all about building your business through effective means that I don't know that people think about so much. Uh, and, you know, most times people think about building their business through advertising and like that's one of the great myths of of entrepreneurship and business startup right is uh and so the two the two areas i'm going to cover today are uh asking your customer to support you and promote you and then secondly to be authentic and so the uh the first one they're asking your customer to promote you you know, it's it's something it, the the best way to get somebody to engage you is to have somebody that they trust promote you right to them. And I think about um, I remember at one point my brother was telling me about a restaurant that he had gone to. And, you know, it was about a 30 minute drive from where I lived at the time. And but he was like, oh, my gosh, we've been there like, you know, two out of the last four weeks. It's so incredible. You got to try it. And sure enough, like that following Friday, I loaded up and I made the half hour drive and I went there for dinner. And I would never in a million years have tried that place without my brother having given that endorsement. You know, but as an entrepreneur, we have to be bold enough to ask our customers. We have to be proud enough of our business to ask our customers to support us. And somehow i i've watched over over time that there's it there's 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 a mindset at times where we're almost ashamed to promote our business and and there's this reverse psychology like if we have to promote our business we must not be doing well or or something to that effect right there's nothing farther from the truth right we i mean we need to be asking for people to support us and i used to do this in the store and this is how i would do it i just i i had a little script here that i put in the book and it goes something like this frank that's the customer frank you love me right and there's a pause and frank smiles and chuckles a little bit and replies sure mike i love you I continue, but you love my business too, right? And he says, yeah, yep, I love your business. Okay, so here's the deal. I love my business as well. I love doing this, and I really want my business to be successful. I have designs on turning this thing into a great company. I want to be one of the best coffee shop chains in the world. Would you be willing to promote my business to your friends and family? I promise you, when they come in and tell me Frank sent them, I will make them feel like royalty. You know I will. What do you say? I'd be really grateful. And Frank says, yeah, of course I will. And you've planted the seed. And then once Frank does, if he does start to promote you to people, that just builds loyalty because now he's vested, right? He's, he's in on helping you build your business. And, uh, you know, so this concept of, of asking people to promote you to others to me is super powerful. Uh, and one of the things that, that for whatever reason, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs that I've watched are sort of bashful in doing that, right? But like, this is one of the greatest, to me, it's one of the greatest creations you can have in your life is the creation of a business. You should be proud of it, right? You should, you should want to tell people to promote you or ask people to promote you. I remember there's a quick story. Uh, Mary Roselle was, was brilliant. I mean, brilliant at this. And she, she was so bold and so outgoing and so brash. And so the Michigan restaurant association held an event at Lugnut stadium back in the day. And they invited, they invited restaurants from all over the state to come and do these little booths all the way around the concourse. And then the legislators and all the lobbyists and everybody would come over at lunchtime and just walk the, uh, walk the concourse and look at all the different restaurants that were, you know, throughout Michigan and so on. Well, they asked us to do a booth. And so we had a booth there and <clears throat> Mary um, uh, got frustrated because no one was really stopping at our booth. They were kind of just walking by, taking a look or whatever. So she goes and she loads up a tray of like an iced caramel 
latte with whipped cream with like 12, 12 of them. And she takes them right to the entrance where everybody's walking in. And she just starts handing them to people as if that was part of the program. Well, next thing you know, we're running trays back and forth. And every single person in the event's carrying around a Bigby coffee. And it was like one of the most, the purest forms that I've ever seen of somebody just being aggressive. I mean, how many other restaurateurs would have walked over right at the entrance, right? And just started handing everybody product. It was brilliant. And, and Mary was an incredible promoter and she would always, always have conversations with people and ask them to come to the store, ask them to come visit us. We wanted to take care of them. We wanted them to serve, you know, we wanted to, uh, give them the opportunity to try our new products, which were better than anybody else's and on and on and on. And it was, I mean, she was really special. Uh, she taught me a ton uh, in relation to about uh, being bold, being aggressive and promoting. Um, and, and some of this though is also, you know, you've got to be vulnerable in that moment too. And I think that also gets gets in people's way is, is to ask somebody for help is a moment of vulnerability, right? But but w when you do that, you begin to build the relationship with that person and with that customer. Okay, so that is you have to ask the customer to promote you. The second one is you got to be authentic. And, you know, it, it used to be back in the day, not that long ago, 20, 30, 40 years ago, that corporations never told the truth, right? They spun everything to look a certain way that they wanted it to look. Uh, they were disingenuine. They would advertise these bold claims, but didn't have to live up to them, right? And, and times are so much different today, and it's beautiful. Because the customer has power today. The customer can call a corporation to account. Within, within hours, a customer can have 10, 15, 20, 50,000 views on a, on a post around what a corporation did to them. And so this, this authenticity thing, it, when, I'm, when, I, when I hang out with other business leaders and so on, they, they bemoan that. They bemoan this newfound power. I freaking love it. Why? Because the good companies, the good people, the people that are genuinely producing a great product, providing a great service, in the end, those companies are going to win. It's not going to be the companies with the best PR firms and the best, you know, advertising agencies and the most creative, you know, uh, marketing people that are going to win the, at the end of the day. It's going to be the companies that are, are genuinely authentic and they, they tell the customer what they do and then they live up to that. Right. And that's the authenticity that I think is just super powerful and super awesome in the world. You can't deceive the customer anymore, right? The collective is way too smart. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. And it's it's like it's like the 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 corporate America is becoming like like democratic, you know? Like like it's 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 amazing the power of that. And again, I relish in that because I do believe at the end of the day that we are a good company, we are good people, we do provide an amazing product. At the end of the day, that's gonna win, right?